This is what it looked like almost a week ago at Castleton Square Mall. And tonight there is a new plan in place to keep shoppers safe. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Stair. And I'm Andrea Moorhead. Our Night Beat reporter, Emily Longnecker, tonight says the plan begins with more security guards as well. Emily, what can you tell us? Well, Andrea and John, the owners of Castleton Square Mall say that teens are still welcome here, but they want to remind them and their parents that the mall is a place to shop, eat, and go to the movies, not a place to just hang out. I mean, it's concerning. It is because it's a public place. Shakaya Jackson was thinking about going to Castleton Square Mall tonight with her daughter after their manicures. I thought about it, but I'm going to wait. Last weekend's brawl is the reason why. I just kind of want to wait <laughs> and see how tonight goes before I go to the movie theater. Mall owner Simon Property Group says what happened last weekend isn't par for the course, but they're beefing up security for the time being. We are going to strictly enforce the, our code of conduct which we have posted at all mall entrances. Part of that code prohibits loitering and disruptive behavior. You come to the mall just to like hang out. I mean, most of them are poor teenagers, so they don't have the money to go buy all this stuff. 20 year old Aaron Parker remembers hanging out at the mall on Saturday night in high school. Not anymore though. It seems a little safer during the day, but at night it's kind of sketchy. And I could very well be going to take her and, you know, situations like that just happen out of nowhere. It's scary. It's scary. Scary enough that these potential customers are staying away for now. At night, at least. Waiting to see if extra security and police are the answer. Now, police haven't made any arrests in last weekend's mall brawl. They plan to have an increased presence here this weekend as well. At Castleton Square Mall, Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.